This video is sponsored by Bundle Up. New customers will get a $10 bonus for free on their first purchase. Check out the link below to grab your $10 bonus today only with Bundle Up. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Doomsday Open 2 with Wacko Rush Gaming. In today's Doomsday Open video, we've been matched with Mag from State 450, also known as Mini and Grumpies. As many of you already know, the elimination stage of the Doomsday Open is going to be pretty boring. So, since the matchups are pretty damn sucky, I'm going to do something different in my Doomsday video for today. How is it going to be different? Well, why don't you hang around to find out more? If you like my videos, please do smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notifications bells for more amazing videos. Everyone that's been watching my videos would know that the 198 State Avengers has reached the elimination round. I shared my analysis with Catzilla and I explained how the top 32 alliances were seeded. The strongest 16 alliances were seeded on the right side and the 17th to rank to a 32nd alliance on the left side. This is perfectly normal as in the FIFA World Cup or any other elite sports tournament there are seeding. Therefore, each should not come as a surprise to any of you that these concepts seem to follow any elite sports tournament. You might ask, why are elite sports seeded? Seeding in tournaments is a process of creating a schedule and is used in many sports disciplines to ensure that particularly attractive matchups do not occur until the later stages of the tournament. So, from group 1 to group 16, the top two alliances are pretty much certain unless one of the alliances fuck up. That fuck up can happen right either the rally leaders don't turn up the stupid schedule where you have to play at 12 utc 15 utc or 19 utc on thursdays youtube tells us that the age demographic of the game is largely between 25 to 50 years old people so yeah most of us are working very hard and some of our hard-earned monies are being spent in this game so yeah you have to work you have pay and playing on thursdays can be really freaking annoying this based on this chart the top 32 alliances will eat everyone else up until the finals of the elimination matches the most interesting fights basically will begin in the final round on the 24th of march i'm sure many of you know everyone will want to avoid dyz fbi and i personally want to avoid Cadzilla in val it'll be more exciting to have a battle with Cadzilla in the last four rather than the very early on in the finals so in this video i want to talk to you about how much effort top teams actually go through in order to win matches in Doomsday Open or Reservoir League. Hey there! Psst, psst. That's right, you! Want some orange lollipops? I wish I can afford more of these lollipops, but I cannot afford it. Worry not, my dear lollipops lover. With a bundle up, you can enjoy your bundles of lollipops with more than 35% discounts. You could even get your first bundle worth of $10 for free. Thanks to bundle up, you can now shop into your mouth as much lollipops without worrying. Remember kids, bundle up can help you secure lots of lollipops, but it doesn't prevent diabetes. Diabetes. Thank you, Wilford. Diabetes. 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 So, what are you waiting for? Check out Bundle Up using the link in the description below and start getting your lollipops using Bundle Up. As a caveat, let me be clear, you need to have sufficient rally leaders and it is based on the fair matching system in State of Survival. 99.9% .9 of teams that will match DYZ or FBI will not win even if they have the best strategies due to the huge disparity in power. However, when reservoir rate power is closer, yeah, here's where the strategy makes a huge difference. A very wise man, Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. This should be a no-brainer. You need to have a battle plan for each of the matches. The battle plan will need to be communicated to your team 24 hours before each match to allow for some time for the members to read and understand their roles. This, ex this is exactly what I do. The team needs to read the plan, they need to know their team, their role and their starting location. The rally joiners need to keep their main hero marches at home. All the top team uses voice chat channel, so this discipline 
discipline needs to be installed if you don't have one. Discipline is key, so team members should not be allowed to randomly port or reset buildings without instructions. All players should always resend reinforcements to key buildings after relocation, assigning dedicated water collectors at least 4 to 6 players per game. Finally, reserves should always ask which team to join upon entering. If you want to be one of the top teams, then you will need this level of preparation and continuous reinforcement of the best practices in your team. And this is where these sort of simple games at this level can be used as a good practice ground for your team. With the preparation, the start is extremely important to gain first controls. All the top teams are extremely good at gaining first control which gives them a huge advantage at the start of the game. However, I've noticed more and more teams leaving Water Plant 1, Water Plant 2, Water Plant 3, Water Plant 4 and Helipad from the start. I've noticed some of the top teams even not bothering with Munitions Factory and Death Compounds when it becomes available at the 45 minutes mark. So these teams are trading off the risk of holding these buildings in exchange for a tighter game with more intense fighting at the water tanks. Yet yeah, with these critical starting positions, the top teams in state of survival ensures the highest possible chance of gaining first control in the buildings that they want. Another strategy that I notice is after first control of the central reservoir, munition factory, death compounds, it is going to be extremely hard to maintain controls of all the buildings in the map. All the top teams knows this secret. Holding buildings for long periods becomes a huge liability. Therefore, they have been starting to sacrifice water plant 1, water plant 2, water plant 3 and water plant 4, ink helipad and even the death compound once it's being lost to the opponents. These teams ultimately ends up focusing control over 4 key buildings in extremely hard matches. With this laser focus, these top teams allow the illusions to the opponent that they are getting into the game, yet they know they are in full control as the water plant only contributes 40% of the water to the holding team, with the remaining 60% of water gain is at risk of being splashed. Then at the 36 minutes, water tanks appears on the north, south, east and west of the map. With the appropriate reservoir rate talent, holding water tanks allows the extra water collection boost, permanently boosting the score with no risk of loss, whereas holding the buildings exposes you to losing the water with the water splash. So the switch seems to happen around here with more focus being put to maintain control as many water tanks as possible until the end. At 26 minutes, there would be more water tanks appearing on the north, south, east and west of the map. Top teams have tended to abandon buildings in favor of gaining more control of water tanks. I've noticed even top teams are now losing to slightly weaker teams with this shift in strategy as there are some teams that literally only hold the central reservoir rate, the central reservoir, yet they are totally dominant at water tanks. Then they win the game through water splash and that's so insanely surprising. For sure, you cannot guarantee any wins unless you are DYZ or FBI, but many teams surely engineer the situation where they win or turn around impossible situations into winning situations. And with this, I will shut my mouth and stop talking and let you enjoy the rest of the video if you choose to enjoy. Thank you everyone and have a good day. I'll smell you later for another video. Goodbye!
specific frequency.